Hey everyone, Sean here with Grayscale Gorilla. In today's quick start, I'm going to show you guys how we can get the most out of our new car paint materials for Octane. So if you haven't already downloaded them from the Grayscale Gorilla Hub, go ahead and do that. And they will automatically appear here in the Plus Library. So you can see here we got car paints for Arnold, Octane, and Redshift. But in this case, we're going to check out the Octane versions. I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my UI here. Now, it's really important that you are in the latest version of Octane. In my case, it is 2020.2-R3. And we just want to make sure that we have OSL support for our new procedurally based flakes. So if I go ahead and grab this blueprint blue, throw it onto my body here, which I've kind of isolated out. And by the way, this wonderful Corvette model can be downloaded from CG Trader if you want to follow along. But yeah, I'm going to fire up the live viewer here and we will see what we get out of the box. And yeah, just like that, you can see we have a lovely looking car paint. This crazy green is a favorite and happens to look really great on this Corvette. And so if I dive into this, close up camera I've set up here, we can see that we got all kinds of flakes going on here. And if I open up a node editor, let me drag this also into my UI, I can dive in here and start to see how this is set up. But one of the great things is with our custom flake shader, you can get in here and dial in the flakes to your liking. Now if you have brought in a car model and the flakes are all out of whack, or maybe the scale is crazy, like I just changed here, that probably means your car model is actually not set up at the correct scale. So by default, all of our car paints are set up at the correct scale for a car model that is also set up at the correct scale. But you can always get in here and start playing around with these settings to dial them in to your liking. So if I put the scale to a value of like two, that looks pretty good for getting a closer look at these. We've also given you the control for density. So if I crank this up to 0.9, for example, now we have a whole heck of a lot of flakes. And then we have this randomized parameter, which controls sort of the virtual rotation of the flakes, if you think about it like that. If I bring it down to 0.1, you can see they're much smoother and flatter looking. But probably a value of around 0.35 is good, and a density value of 0.4. And then the scale back to something like 0.25 is a lot more realistic. So if I hop out to this camera, you can see where we're at here. And of course, we can always get in here and change the colors. So if I want to get into my base coat here, I can start tweaking the colors. Let's maybe make a blue car paint. Um, and then we want to change the colors for the specular layer. So let's try here, tweaking that to blue. That's looking pretty cool. And of course the flakes themselves have color. So let me hop into here and set these to kind of a bluish color as well. You can see there's a lot of different colors that make up these car paints. Fairly complex if you consider all the different layers that make up a car paint. And yeah, this looks really cool actually. Maybe we should save this one out. But yeah guys, so that's just a few of these car paints. We also have this green camo, which turned out really cool. It's like a camo wrap. The snow camo wrap, also a favorite. But yeah, they're a ton of fun to play with. We really can't wait to see what everyone creates with these. Super excited to get them out to everybody. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and we will see you in another one very soon.